Error adjustment. Error adjustment. <laughs> the truth comes out. Suppressed. Who's buying 22s like this? Who is the target market? Like mailman? Who buys these guns? Who buys these guns? Yeah. Who buys these guns? This is the new Beretta Bobcat 21A. Today we're gonna shoot it with and without a suppressor and just see what the audio difference is. I've got a decimal reader on my phone. All right, so here's the app. When you open it up, it remembers the highest value. So it's 81 right now, I'm not talking very loud. Hey! It goes 93. Yo! 99. And then you can reset. But here we go. So Kyle is going to shoot it the first time and we're going to measure the audio level and see how loud it is. Probably shoot two or three times. We'll get a few readings on it. Okay. And then uh, we'll add the suppressor and see if it's any quieter. Any guesses to how loud it's going to be? Loud. Any guesses? Loud. We got Winchester Super X 40 grain 1280 feet per second. It's not wanting to zoom in, it's wanting to get your face. There we go. You start with one in there? Yeah, you just put it in there. That's the cool feature of the pop-up. You just push this button right here. Makes the barrel pop up. Beretta Model 21A, 22 long rifle. This is the ones that they started making in the USA. We've been waiting on this for a while. A lot of people have wanted them, been asking about them. Safety's in the back right there. Let me get my app pulled up. Fire in the hole. Everybody ready? All right, we're recording, Kyle. You can rack it like a normal gun, too, if you don't want to drop it in there. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now we're in business. <laughs> All right, we're ready see this see if this time? little app works. Save the fruit? Yeah, save the fruit. We might shoot it with something else later. So shoot A tree grass? or something. I'll shoot something quiet. All right, here we go. You got a reading? 112. You got a couple? Let me, uh, maybe, re uh, yeah, go ahead. 113. 113. Okay. All right, so we got a measurement of 113. Without the suppressor, with the standard velocity, or high velocity, are we gonna do some subsonics also? Yeah. Okay. Subsonics are up next. Let's reset this. Subsonics not suppressed. While he's loading up another mag, we'll give you some close-ups of the gun. So that's the gun James Bond wish he had. Wish he had. Threaded barrel right here. All right, Aguila Super Extra Subsonic. All right, we're hot. Fire Shoot. in the hole. Shooting the grass. Ready? Ready. Got a reading? 106. One oh nine. All right. Hey guys, a little quick tip. If you meet resistance, stop. You can mess your threads up. You waited all that time just to get that nice suppressor on there and then you screw it up. See? Nice and smooth. No resistance. Really nice. Did y'all show them what kind of can y'all had? Nope. They haven't even seen it yet. Dead Air Mask. It's a nice can right there. Great warranty with Dead Air. It's nice. Like I was saying, this is the gun James Bond wishes he had. <laughs> it's a nice gun. All right, Kyle, show us how it's done. All right, that feels better. So the first shot's normally louder, is that right? Yeah. So give me time to reset the... Give me time to reset this after you shoot the first time. Okay. You ready? 
Is Can this you... standard velocity or sub? Oh, uh, this is standard. Standard velocity the wind through the suppressor. Restricts. You don't really have the suppressor sight heights. Suppressor height sights, yeah. You ready? Ready. 91. All right. 97. 80. Wait, hold on a second because like the default is So it's, uh, it's so quiet. <laughs> oh man. All right, so that's really quiet. So there you go, there's the difference between with a suppressor and without. Conclusions, thoughts, comments, concerns. Concerns, all right. How do you aim this joker? <laughs> Good point. I mean, I was able to hit the grass. But. Back in the day, didn't you sights? You want to try to hit something? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here you go. I'll get you some subs. You get that mag. I didn't know you had to rack it. <laughs> I didn't know you could rack it. Well, the old ones all you could, too. All right, so we just thought it'd be fun to see how far we could hit with this 22. We stepped over here to the longer range. This is about 70 yards or so. And so we're going to see, are these subsonics? Subs, yeah. So I need to aim, like, arc it in, like, drop it in? I don't know. All right, so we've got one loaded. How are you gonna aim? Oh, look at that, that's like major, <laughs> I didn't think. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're shooting at the longer range. Kyle's talking about not having sights. We're just gonna see if we can hit anything at the farther distance with no sights. We don't need any hearing protection because, well, this has got the suppressor on it. Hot. Oh. Am I not hitting it? Oh, no, man. No. No, man, not. I thought this was going to be easy. It's going to have a distinct noise. <laughs> Alright, guys. Legit. Super fail. I tried to hit long range, and I missed every time. So, we're going to see if these other guys can do any better. They're getting it loaded up right now. Corey, you going next, or Kyle's going next? It don't matter to me. Are we're going to see. There you go. So, Kyle's just asking what the purpose of this gun is. Well, it's fun to plink with when you have the suppressor on it. But um, it's a small caliber, it's lightweight, so, you know, but it's a really good gun if you have a hard time racking the slide, pulling the slide back on other guns. This one's always been popular. My mom carried one for a really long time because if you want to check and see if it's loaded, you just pop the top up like that. And then you can also, like, it's easy to load. So, like, is it loaded? Okay, it's not. I'm just going to put a bullet here, pop it up, load the magazine, and it's ready to go. You don't have to ever have to, like, rack the slide back. You just cock it back pull the trigger. It's got a safety on it. So she carried it in her purse for a really long time. Hers was an older model. It didn't have the threaded barrel on it. But still, that's kind of the purpose or the thought behind these guns. It's fun to plink with, but it's also a good gun to carry and um, easy to check and see if it's loaded and load it without having to rack it. So just a quick tip of the day. All right, Kyle, let's see what you got. Or Corey, let's see what you got. Who's shooting? Oh, let's see. All right, Corey's shooting the long range. You got subsonics? Yeah, I think so, right? Yep. Oh, that was like five feet low. Same. Maybe three feet low. Fuck, I cycle off. Oh, huh? ejected.
Three feet low. I know I'm gonna have to arc this thing. Yeah. There <laughs> it is. We got a hit. He hit it. How how are you aiming? I was aiming, the suppressor was over the target. Okay. I was trying to have to look, I don't know if you've ever done something like that too. If your optic gets blocked, you can use your left eye and kind of see where the target is. I don't know how it works, but it kind of makes it to where you're looking at the iron sights, but you're only using the left eye to see the target and the other is blocked, uh, blocked out. Let's see. Here you go, Carl. We got left. I don't know how many I got left. Here, go ahead. I want to hit one. I got to hit one. I'm going the target. Okay, go. it only took me like 15 tries, but I finally hit it. <laughs> I'm gonna load her up for you, Cal. Sure. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where you see it with the left eye, and then you. I wasn't aiming high enough. Watch Cal hit it first time. I hope so. That'd be shocking. Oh, second Ooh. shot. About 10 feet low. There you go. Oh, he's on the money now. There you Boom. go. Boom. Okay, you hit halfway between here and the target. <laughs> I was going to do that though. <laughs> Kyle gets the most hits and the biggest misses. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, fun gun. All right guys, so this is a free app on the phone. We know it's not 100%, but we wanted to kind of get the range of how much is, um, how loud these, uh, these are. So we know that we should probably go spend like five grand and get a really good decimal reader that we can know exactly what it's doing. But we wanted to show you about the range of how loud and how quiet it is with the suppressor. Error adjustment. Error adjustment. <laughs> the truth comes out. The truth comes out. So Kyle won, guys. He had the most hits, but he also had the biggest misses. I, I guess that would count that as a win. I don't know. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We were just using this little Beretta and the suppressor. We wanted to measure the, the sound differences. We hope you guys enjoyed that. It's super quiet with this thing on there. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to do more videos coming out soon. And so thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.